I mean, one of the things that like uh, Joel and Salatin has influenced me, and, and just the the whole thing of like is cooking with integrity. It's once you buy into using cows that are allowed to eat grass for a living. I mean, that's what they do. They get to be happy. That's, I mean, when you eat a cow that has been raised on grain, you are, and you read about, you know, the effects, the negative effects on the meat, on the environment, and everything that is is going on with these mass-produced cows, and you and you have to think, how do I do that? I won't eat it, so why do I want to give that to my customers? So I, I think a lot of it comes down to trying to, you know, engage what God has created this world to be, and trying to use God's creation and restore the creation. So you restore cows to be able to eat grass as God created them with their stomachs to process that grass and turn it into protein. I mean, we as humans, we don't, we weren't created to eat grass. We can't do it. We can't, we can't process it. We can't turn it into food for us. So the more you look at the way God created each animal and the benefits of allowing the animal to live the way God created that animal to live and the, the benefits of health, nutrition and health and just feeling. I had a, you know, a 72-year-old Italian guy came to my restaurant and he had a, one of our filet mignons, a beef tenderloin, for dinner, it was a nice size, you know, probably seven ounces, eight ounces. But he ate it and he went home and he called back the guy that brought him here. He called him the next morning and he's like, I just want you to know there's the best steak I've ever had in the United States. I felt like I drank a glass of water. It's like, it was so clean and so fresh. I, I'd never eaten that in America. I felt good after eating it. And it was like, you know, those are the type of things that you want people to feel like you're giving them stuff that's nutritious and healthy for them. You know, I'm not in the business of teaching or preaching to my customers. You know, if somebody says, hey, that beef tenderloin was great. Why is it so great? I was like, well, this is why it's great. And this is what we believe in and why we do it. And I know it's not the cheapest beef tenderloin you're ever going to eat, but it's a lot better than if you ate a mass-produced beef tenderloin. And so those are the type of things that we work on. You know, like most people want to come here and have a good time. So we want them to have a great time. We want to give them the right food. We want to cook it with integrity and with pride and doing everything we can. So that's what we really put our effort into rather than saying, Hey, we're going to challenge people. We're going to tell them what they need to eat. We're going to tell them how they need to drink this or eat that. Or then people don't want that. And some people don't care. Some people yell at me because I do have grass-fed beef and they want corn-fed beef. And that's, that's fine. I can't please everybody. I, when I opened this restaurant, I said, I'm going to be a non-smoking restaurant because I want people to be able to enjoy their food without somebody else's cigarette blowing in their food. And... I had a lot of people that said, Jimmy, that's a terrible idea. I will never eat at your restaurant. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I've made a decision. I'm sticking with it. And I lost business, but I've also gained business. I mean, you, you, and that's what I love about America is we're free to do what we want to do. And that's what I want to do. And I want to make ethical decisions that I can sleep with, that I can do, I can live with. And, you know, Hopefully, it's good for business. I think it is. But, I mean, I know it does, it costs. It costs more to do it. But one of the good things about buying good quality is you don't need as much food to satisfy you. When you buy, when you have a, 
prosciutto that's made organically, you know, really good quality from Italy, and you bring it over, and or you get a local, you know, mass-produced prosciutto with lots of salt and lots of this, you end up needing more to satisfy somebody, more of the bad stuff than you do. A little, a little of the good stuff just satisfies. It pleases your palate. It pleases your your dining experience in a lot better way. So we buy what we can to make people happy.